What's up everybody, it's Nick here from thegameraccess.com to speak on Vita's Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified being a mysterious opportunity. So recently during Sony's E3 2012 press conference, they said, hey, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified will be a PlayStation Vita exclusive and it will be releasing later this holiday season for the PlayStation Vita. My concern is, okay, the game releases this year. However, during the press conference, all you show is a logo. That's kind of concerning because if it's releasing later this year, it has to be pretty far in the development cycle. Will we see more during Gamescom? Possibly. But that was something that should have been shown off at E3. We all know first-person shooters, especially Call of Duty, always do best in North America. They do decent in Europe. Japan, they don't do great at all because Japan's more into the RPG area and MMOs. But E3 would have been the perfect area to show that off, show the gameplay. Is there a reason why they're not showing the gameplay? That's my concern. We already know it's going to have full online multiplayer. It's going to have its own dedicated story with missions and such. But is this a game that Sony and Activision are proud of? Or are they just wanting to stamp Call of Duty on the Vita as soon as possible? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We should find out later this year. But this has the opportunity to really make the PlayStation Vita a success if done correctly. If they market it, which is going to be the other concern. We kind of have to rely on Activision there because we know how Sony is when it comes to marketing. We haven't seen a PlayStation ad with the Vita in how long? Especially on television. When was the last time you guys saw a PlayStation Vita television commercial? It's been a long time. Very long time. I don't watch much television, but I talk to people who do. And they're like, yeah, I haven't seen one in a couple months. I'm like, a couple months? But yeah, I see all about the Wii and the Xbox 360. And I've seen a couple for the PS3. Really concerning. So let me know what you guys see in the comment section. If you want to email me, you can email me, admin at gameraccess.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at Nick McCandless, And be sure to keep checking back at thegameraccess.com. Thank you so much for your support. I'm out.